So we're just going to get right into it today. <laughs> because my camera stopped working before the live stream and I've been trying to get it working again. Um, and I think it's working now. So hopefully you can see me. And if you can't, please let me know. I'm just trying to raise it up a little bit here. So you... that's better. Um, so hopefully you can see me now. And you can hear me and if you can't see me or hear me let me know in the chat um it seems that nobody else is around right now so i'm talking to myself so that's fine just a little bit there we go that's better okay there you go uh so if you're watching this on youtube later that was me talking to myself for five minutes <laughs> okay <clears throat> so today I'm going to continue working with the WordPress REST API. Um, I want to today. I want to extend the plugin that I've been working with. Um, <clears throat> and I want to enable updates and custom fields and all kinds of other things. Branch I'm on version three. Okay, so I just want to see what I was doing then. Um, oh, yes, I did a bit of research, and it looks like instead of doing all of this, um, if the button is null or undefined, I can just go if if the button and and that will do. If it, if it is undefined, if it is null, that will return a false value, or what they call false C in JavaScript land. Um, so just doing it like this, where I create the button variable based on finding the button in the DOM by the ID, um, will either return the button itself, button element, or undefined or null. And if it's undefined or null, then doing an if check is perfectly acceptable, apparently. So I think that was the last bit of cleanup I did there. Um, this should probably be version three. Uh, oh yes, the other thing I did was I added this check. Um, so I added the current screen check. And this is just a cool way of only enqueuing the JavaScript when this page is loading in the admin dashboard. So... Um, that's what that's there for. So that's all of that. We can make those changes. Three, and then we can just make sure that's all working. Admin page. These are all our posts with IDs. Let's create another new post. Make sure that works. It's post content. Okay, there it is. And then let's delete post 19, for example. Post 19 is deleted and it's not in the list. Okay, so that's all working. Everything's still good. Excellent. So now what I would like to do is I'd create a branch. Properties four. Minus B. Minus B to create the branch. There we go. And then let's update this to version four. And then let's commit that just so it's committed. I tend to use the git commit minus all quite a bit. You're supposed to stage commits and then commit them and then push them. Um, I don't tend to work that way. It's just, just me who I do things. Um, okay. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do today is I want to do some custom fields. I'm going to start with custom fields. So let me open up my GitHub issue. Um, 
and then I lost. There it is, my online workshop. So this is what I'm preparing for on Thursday. It's Thursday's online workshop. Um, I just realized I don't have a co-host for this workshop, so I should probably find me. <laughs> um, I did ping somebody about this. Not at the finger, not at the finger of him. I'll do that after this. Um, okay, so. Guilds. So let's have a look. I don't know if it comes up at the top of my results because of the keyword or because I go there a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so extending will get to that will get to probably the session after this. We'll start talking about some of these things. Um, for now, I want to look at posts. And I want to look at creating a post. And I want to see what we can do in the way of custom fields. So, let's just have a look here. Yes, it has a schema, so date, ID, link, modified, modified, select status, type password, permalink, generate, describe, title, content, author excerpt, featured media, comment, ping, format, meta. So meta is an object. So if I had to guess, I can go meta and then I can go field value. I don't think it's documented anyway. Uh, wait, there it is. Meta. Ah, there we go. Oh, it just takes you back to the scheme. Okay. Meta fields. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna play around with that. All right. So let us create a meta, a custom field for me. Field, uh, a field on the form for the custom fields, let's do it that way. So under post content, let's create a custom field and let's call it WP learn post custom field. Post custom field now. Um, I have PHP Madman installed on my local environment, so that's how I access the database. Uh, that's not the username and password. That's the username and password. You're welcome to steal it. You're, only, you're not going to get access to my local database, so I don't mind. Um, so let's have a look at post meta. Post meta is usually meta key and meta value, so it's probably key value pairs, if I had to guess. Um, probably have to pass in the full meta key and the meta value. Probably as the key of the value, if I had to guess. So what do I mean by that? So let's go post custom field key. Uh, let's see, so custom field key. One thing I hate about making these long. One thing I hate about making these long field names is it becomes difficult to read them out when I'm presenting these things. Table. And the key is the ID. I don't want a text area, I want to input. Last. In case you're wondering what this label for thing is, best of my knowledge, it's got to do with uh, accessibility, it's got to do with screen readers and reading the label for the, for the IDs. It's always a good idea to to include the four property or four attribute labels, and that knows it belongs to this text area here. For example, or this input tab. 
and then place over like a key. And then we'll just create another one. Call this field value. Field value and post custom field value. Okay. That should give us the ability to add a custom field. So let's have a look in the JavaScript. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to need to get those values so we can just use these things. Uh, can you tell I'm still getting used to command key on a Mac? <laughs> uh, almost two years of using Mac OS and I still struggle with switching from control to command. Sometimes. Okay, so post title, custom field key, and then we'll just go. I'm going to call this meta key because that's actually what it is in the database. That's just me being weird. Meta value. Maybe I'll chat about that in the in the workshop. This is actually a good point for me to copy this documentation into my notes. Okay, so there's my field and my value. And then, because meta is an object, I'm going to assume it's... Are you listening? Are you reading my mind, Copilot? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do meta. I suppose because I sat it up there. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty clear, actually. Uh, it's interesting that it's put it like this in an array. I wonder if it's... I should think so. I think it's just an object with key and value. Let's find out. Um, okay, so that'll save the post. Uh, let's see if it saves. Let's see if it creates the post for us. So, push here. And we'll go my post post with meta. My first meta post. Uh -huh. My first meta post. Meta post content. And then the key will say can be, I don't know, let's call it uh, by just for the sake of being, actually, let's call it URL. And I'll just put my, my home page in there for the sake of giving it some valid data. Okay, and then let's add this. Okay, so the post has been saved. Let's see if it's saved the meta key and value and what it's done to it. So if we go down to, oh, I don't have my, my custom fields enabled. It's not, not a bad thing to mention this. So if you want to enable your custom fields in the site editor or in the block editor, you open up the options, which is the three little dots on the right hand side here. You click on preferences, you click on panels, and then you enable custom fields. And then you need to enable and reload your block editor. And here are my custom fields, and I don't seem to have any custom fields on my post. Okay, let's have a look at my post meta. No, nothing has been passed, so I haven't passed this correctly. Uh, I wonder if the documentation has any more information about this. Uh, it's been a while since I've done post meta, which is why I've not this works. So let's do a quick search here. Pages, post users, schema, comments, change our categories, post revisions, post revisions. <clears throat> Nothing specific. Okay. Onward to the code. So what I usually do in situations like this when I don't know how something is going to work is I go and dig into the code. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to WP includes REST API. There it is, REST API. And I'm going to look for the REST endpoints. Okay, so there's actually a class per endpoint. So if I go and look for the posts controller, there it is. Um, I'm going to scroll right to the top here. Okay, so these are all the controller properties. Constructor, register root. 
Okay, so we're a space server, get items, create item. Let's permissions check. Callback is create item. Okay, so we search for create item. There it is. Fetch you. There it is. Create item. Pair item from database. Let's just see if there's a link in here. So this just calls WPM so host. Okay, so it's the prepared item from database. Let's go and have a look at that code. That's probably in a REST controller parent class. Yeah, that's fine. So that's the post ID. Uh, let's see, post title, post content, post exit, post type, post status, post date, slug, author, password, parent, menu comment, ping, No, it's not in here. Okay. So I wonder if it's one of these. Works. That would make sense. Let's see what. There. Is it comment menu? Is it closed? I think I can find better update for hospital. Instead of a post meta fields options. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. So that was in the constructor. Okay. So this dot post type. Let's see what that does. Right, let's create some. Fires after a single post. Here we go. Fires after a post is created. So this is in create item. Oh, okay. How did I miss that? Okay, so it actually inserts the post. And then what are these other things I was looking at earlier? I must have been on the wall. Method entirely. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this. Okay. Anywho, uh, so this prepares the item for the database. It gets the first type. It prepares fields. It inserts the post. And then, after the post is created, then when we get down to here, here. If not empty, screen what is meta and is set request meta. Meta update is this meta update value request meta post ID. Okay, so it's passing in the meta object of the post ID. So that's the meta fields. For each field, there's meta key ID stay equals name. Uh, name. Value equals meta name. Ah, uh, so it's name value. Okay. So it looks like the fields have to be registered, which when you create one, it probably doesn't exist. Interesting. Um, I'm just
Let us not. Okay, just for my own capabilities here, I'm going to the meta object to my debug log. No. But not do Message, message to go. Um, it's going to be a unique point. Why is it doing that? Why is this up just locked? Okay, that should. That'll log an error, and then we make sure my debug log is on, not displaying, logging to a file. Good, and then just. And if I'd like. So let's just see what's going on with the meta and how it feels. Ah, good grief. So let's do two. So let's refresh. First, and then attempt. And we'll say URL, and we'll say again my URL. Okay, it's saved. Let's go see what the debug log has for us. Oh, I'm using add sub menu page correctly. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Uh, okay, so there's the meta key and value to 435. Can I do that one first? Yeah, so there's the first problem. The first problem is there are no registered meta fields. So I need to register a meta field. Okay, <laughs> let me first fix this. Function adds something page was called incorrectly. The seventh parameter should be numeric representing menu position. I missed that. Seven parameters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, one, is that okay? Oh, very much one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thank you, eleven. I mean, it's a top level page. Oh, we're going to make it okay. Let's make it like a thousand. Let's make it no, 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 no. How much do I collect? 10? Okay. 11 is too much. Uh, it docks. Actually, I'm going to the page. Updates. Manage options, menu slug, generous API, callback, double condemn, render. Okay. Then it's a pool, it's in the tools. Can stay there, I don't mind. It's supposed to be a sub menu anyway. So we fix there. Oh. Yeah, this page doesn't exist anymore. 
I just break my sight. Yay, tools. Don't really understand that. Okay. Happiness. Let me see if there's any more areas around that. Uh, nah, submenu. Good grief. Okay, save a parameter. Needs to be passed. Oops. Numeric. Okay, well, we can fix that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least the error message is useful, unlike some things that I've worked with. It's back at 10. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. So I need to register a custom field. And it looks like I need to actually pass in the field key. Value equals meta name. Name is the name. Fields, register fields. So let's register a field. So to create a field, we need to register that. Right. Just register meta. Hey. So in our plugin, we have to register meta. So what I'm going to do in my plugin code, um, that way you have to you have to register this. I just realized my power's gonna go out soon, so I need to do something. I'm going to guess it, it, if it didn't all go black, they're great. If it did, I apologize. But I'm going to be without power soon. And uh, I need to switch over to my backup. Um, it doesn't look like you need to hook into anything. So I'm just going to hook into a BM init action hook just because I'm weird that way. Uh, I suppose it's in a plugin. So it probably doesn't matter. So maybe we'll just register, register at the top here. Um, and then I noticed that somebody suggested that you can do things like this. So let's actually take this whole code up here. Let's take here. Let's do that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, just open up something. Send this off screen. Okay. So object type is post. It's current custom meta key. So let's call it underscore your. Because that's what the example had. 
I want to see what this registers. Single true type. Hmm. String. Yeah, it's fine. Default true. Show in most true. Okay, so that'll do that. Now, what does that do? Does that actually, I've never actually done this. It's been a while since I've worked on post metaphors. Does that actually register the custom field? Okay, so let's go and roll. Let's go date. Let's do it. Okay. Look at that URL field got updated. And if that's a bug. Post. No, I don't want Grammarly to test things. Go away. Um, oh, that's right. Please put my custom field there. I just did. <laughs> I'm beginning in Urza. Register method was called incorrectly. Okay, we're getting some errors. It's good to know. Add submenu was called incorrectly. The seven parameters passed to add submenu should be numeric. It is. Okay. I guess I'm fixing code today. And I'm probably just going to get custom fields working today. I have to do authentication and other things. No, I don't want debugging your WordPress. Go away. Let's fix the first bug. Hey there, WP Marmite. Um, if I know you, how do you, uh, it's difficult to like match people's names to their, to their handles, uh, but welcome. Hopefully something is useful for you today. <laughs> uh, me, I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting an error on ASAP new page. I haven't used it in forever. The position in a set of position. What's wrong with you? There it is. Position. Sigh. Eight years ago. Six years ago. Where's the recent examples that include? Numerics. All right, I'm going to come back to that later. Let's have a look here. Um, register means point when when registering the default meta value, the data must match the type provided. Okay. I wonder if that's because passing in a URL. Okay, we'll be. String of bridging is a
I'm not sure if default was the data that must match the team. Third one is ours. I'll just have me to keep ours. Okay, ours, yeah, okay, ours. Subtype. Just subtype. Okay. Right. Default. Oh, because default's not true. Default needs to be a value. So to make it an empty string. That's better. Okay, let's see if that gets rid of that area. Oh, Marmite, yes, I remember. I apologize. Um, thanks for joining by. <laughs> uh, Um, okay, so let's see if that takes away from the book. Yay, I've only got one error now. Add some menu page was called incorrectly. The second parameter passed to add some page should be a numeric. I bet you it's a numeric string. I bet you it's a freaking string. Watch me get, watch me get slack here. Anyway. <laughs> All right. And sub menu page. Let's see what you've got. I got to reach the next figure out, please. Into flow to position. Position in the menu order this item should appear. Passing a numeric, so what's your problem? Wait, 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 wait. Am I doing a sub menu page somewhere else? I bet you I am. I bet you one of my other plugins is calling it. Dead back certainly is. And so are a bunch of others. And they're probably not. And you expect it. Okay, let me just check on the plugins. So let's deactivate that. And deactivate make block E. And deactivate Vega Brace. And deactivate the plugin security one because I think that's doing some add sub menu stuff, and that's just my plugin. Now, let's see if that's done. Okay, let's refresh. Yay! Okay, so some other plugin I'm coding is doing it, so that's fine. Okay, not this one. All right, so now we've registered that. So now we should be able to add that metaphor. So now we should go to your uh, row. Let's check it. Why is that throwing an error?
All right, well, let's pass that in the post and see. Um, okay, now this is all broken. Yay! Don't you love it when things just break? the joy of live streaming kids oh you know what because now i'm not i'm not loading the javascript because i changed things um so let's screen to get the right top level screen name ID tools page of the universe of guy. Look at these changes. Okay, that should work now. Yay! Okay. So let's see what happens. Content URL decision decision decom. He's currently in the debug log, so that's fine. I'm still logging those things. So let's see. Post is saved. Debug log exists. Okay, so there's meta key general passage.com and there's URL. So I need to pass in URL. Okay. Here. I wonder if the reason that it did this is because that's how you pass in and uh, a variable. Bet you that's it. I need to do some research on that. Okay, so let's do the post. And let's say oh, domain.com. Being interesting. Okay, let's go and look. No. Um, probably something like this. I did this in a previous session. Um, hey there, uh, can't see your name. Um, it's blue. It comes up as dark blue on my screen. I think it's stunt crazy. I apologize if it's incorrect. What am I working on? I'm trying to post meta key and values to a REST API endpoint. Um, and I'm trying to remember how to do um, a variable. I think this would have worked. I guess it doesn't and there's a way to do this and I ran across this the other day and now for the life of me I can't remember um, JavaScript um, eval eval Something. Where is the email? 
and we are searching for the Lord in all things. I did the summary and for the life of me, I can't remember where I did it. Let's just test this and see if this works. Relevant now because I'm not using it, but it is what it is. Okay. Created it. Oh, it here. Well, I guess it's better not to screw the screen. With that. And it's actually just a parcel of strings for the sake of testing this out. Uh, just going to actually point out these fields. I just need to set up these test posts. Bunch of posts, so now we can go to new post, post content, and it should be added in the meta. Okay, so that worked. Let's see if it added the meta. That worked. Okay. So I'm doing something wrong here. Okay. So let's say const meta object. And it's meta key meta value like that. And then it's console log this. And see what. Add the domain for us. Oh, no report is it no. Okay, there's a bug in my code. Because we feel it's this. Oh. Stupid. You're not on the screen anymore, you chop. 
Okay, new value plus custom field key, WP line plus custom field value. Okay. Do we? Okay. Mutant first. Okay, so we're going to go URL, related.com. Okay. So that seems to have worked. So let's go related.com. Okay, so that worked. So we should then be able to do that. Okay. Sounds fresh. Three. As you can see, I have extremely uh, descriptive examples. And let's go where all and let's go Rubble Barker. So that should work. So let's have a look at the posts. Better post three. Yay, that worked. Okay. So then. This should work, which is sure what I was doing here. Maybe I wasn't. Okay, let's try it again. So what is it now? Meta post four. Meta post content four. URL. I don't know. Um, Bob dot com. That worked. And this poll and Bob dot com. Okay, I don't know. I must have missed something earlier, but that is. So this is what I was needing. It was the square brackets around the uh, variable name. So let me just research that. So JavaScript. Uh, variable and square brackets yes, it's computer property names. I think that's what I want. Yes. Expression in brackets that will be computed to use the property name. That's what I need. Okay, so let me make a note of that. Um, this is kind of similar to how you might have in the old PHP days. You might have done something like this, say variable key equals URL, and then you create an array. Let me try that again. It's command key. X. So in the old days, you might do something like this, and then you might go array, and then you might do something. You probably wouldn't. But you might do something like this. The first one, the URL, and you can't do that in JavaScript. You have to because it's an object. That's probably why. So that would be more like doing something like. The, And then you would do something like this, object key, and then you could do something like that. Uh, and then if you echoed object URL, would be the main mission would be there. Um, PHP interactive shell. Don't recommend doing this in your code, but you might have done this in the old days, so you might have gone key equals your own property action. And then you create an object of some kind. Anyway, I probably shouldn't do this actually because it's pretty bad. Uh, 
So you create some object instance somewhere. And say object key domain. And if you print out the object, then you'll see it has a property called URL, not key, because yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the key from the form and then pass it in as the property of the meta object so that it creates the the meta object. Um, you probably wouldn't do that. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe what we should do, yes, maybe what we should do is take out the key because this is probably how you would implement an equals. You would just have WP learn post URL value. And then your user or whatever would pass in the value because you know what the URL is in the back or the front, whatever of course. Um, so let's actually do a reasonable example. So it's going to be post URL value. And this and here we can go with your value URL value and here we can go with your that's it that's what we would do that's how you work on custom fields um correct much better and now if we go back to our page and create meta post five meta meta post five content and the value is cnn.com and we add it it's added and we go to our posts meta post five your is out cool. okay um they have to register meta. Okay. And then pass meta object where meta key in object as object part. Okay. I'm going to comment and save that for now. I wanted to do a whole bunch more than that today. Um, so I'm going to have to do this on my own. Uh, I'm probably not going to get to authentication this week. Maybe I will. But I'm going to work on updating resources offline because I've run out of time today because of having to stop start this late. So I apologize. Uh, hopefully you've learned something interesting today. I certainly learned a few interesting things about how to work with custom fields in the REST API. Uh, or at least remind myself how these things work. I also learned about ads menu page and the fact that you need to specify a number. Um, yeah, that was an interesting day. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to go back to the, the notes that I've made and try and remember how this works. Um, And then go and update. I wonder if I can quickly do an update. If I can quickly do an update. Because now I know how all this works. So let's say update post. And then it's just the authentication has figured out. So let's go post ID. Let's just add what it says. Let's go update. So we're going to go update post ID. We're going to do update post type. Update post content. Post. Post. Update the array. Let's 
going to keep saying update. So it sounds weird. Post your role, update post your role, and post. Okay. And then let's create update post function. First one, ready, and paste ID, const title, content, your own value. Yep. Post post, ID, title, content, status, and we leave out because we don't need status. We should have put in. That should stay the same. As far as I know, that works. Let's see, update. And check. Ah, thanks for that. Never call myself professional. <laughs> uh, I look, I look a lot better on Thursdays once I have all this figured out. <laughs> uh, say update. Okay, I'm looking at the endpoints. I need to look at the backbone. Just see that it is updating. Look at the methods. Yeah. Load the categories. Slots, collection examples, model examples. I mean, I'll try to save and see what happens. See if that works. Should do. Should work. And I have just lost power again. Um, so right now you're probably not seeing my screen. So I've now officially lost all power. Um, I don't even know if I'm live streaming anymore. So we're gonna to have to wait and see if that works. Uh, I apologize, folks. My backup solution has lost power. Um, but join me on Thursday to see if that code worked and we'll take it from there. Um, I don't even know what's happening on my screen here. <laughs> so let me turn this off, that off. Um, and yeah, that's going to have to be me. Um, I have gotten sort of seven minutes over time. I thought I would have enough time to finish it. I apologize. That code should work. Um, but I'll have to test it once I have power again. I didn't plan very well to, for today's live stream. I apologize. Um, a few things got in my way. But uh, yes, I'll test this code tomorrow. And uh, by Thursday, I should have it all worked out. So join me on Thursday. Um, if you don't know where I'm going to be on Thursday, let me find the... Let me, let me just uh, do this quickly. Let me change, let me add a new display so you can see my screen. Um, but you should see my ob screen now, and if I minimize it, you should then see my browser window. There it is. Um, I can't see in the chat now what you're seeing, so hopefully you're seeing the browser window, but if you go to meetup.com, learn WordPress online workshops, um, my next workshop is mm, here we go on Thursday. 
and we'll do the updates and we'll do the custom fields or we'll do the custom fields and the updates and hopefully by then I'll have tested authentication as well. So please do join me for that. I'll have tested all this out and any, any bugs in that code I'll get working. Um, but otherwise, thank you for joining me today and I apologize that it was a little bit wonky. Um, but Thursday's workshop will be much more prepared and uh, much more professional. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you, folks. Um, and I'll see you all on Thursday.